is a lesson about median and mode. When we are going to determine the median of a set of data, it is very important that we must first arrange our data from the smallest uh, value to the biggest value. Now, how are we going to do this? If you look at this data set, it is still about Joan, who is having some athletics learners that's running 800 meters. 800 meters mean we run twice around an athletics track. And then she did go and see what was the time that each one of these athletes took when they were completing the 800 meter. And these are the times that she found. Now, when we calculate the average, we don't have to arrange this data. We can just keep it as it is. But when we want to determine the median, it's very important that we must arrange the number from the smallest to the highest value. To arrange the data from the smallest value to the highest value, I'm going to start off just by putting the values maybe on kind of a, a line where I'm going to arrange them. The first value that is here is 160. Let's write it here more or less in the middle. Now I know I'm finished with 160, I can scratch it. The next value is 145. Now I need to decide whether this 145 is smaller than or bigger than the 160. And we are all aware that it is smaller than 160. So it's going to come on this side. I'm going to leave some opening here so that I can write some other numbers. Because if I look quickly, I see here are some other numbers in the data set between 145 and 160. So I'm going to write my 145 here on this side. Okay. Now I have written it. We find the 160 again. Must I write that number again? Yes, grade 12. It is very important that you must write each of the numbers, even if you are repeating them. The next number is 148. Where am I going to place the 148? The 148 is bigger than 145, but it's smaller than 160. So I'm going to put it on this side, but it is bigger than 145. Scratch it. 164. Is 164 smaller or bigger than 160? Definitely it is bigger. So it comes on this side. Okay? So I'm going to write 164 here. The value of 150. 150 is smaller than 160, but it's bigger than 148. So I need to write the 150 after the 148. 165 is the next value here. 165 is bigger than 160. Is it bigger than 164 also? Yes, so it comes on this side. The reason why I'm scratching them like now is it is for rough work and if I scratch it, I know I cannot write it again. Okay, 152, where is that going to lie? 152 is smaller than 160, but it's bigger than 150. So I'm putting it after 152, and I scratch it. 155 is still smaller than 160, but it's bigger than 152. So I can put 155 in here, scratch it. 166, 166 is bigger than 165, so it must come on this side and I scratch it and then 158 158 is smaller than 160 but bigger than 155 so here I need to put in 158 and now you will see my spice is kind of a little bit small so I'm going to write it there but it belongs here it is a value that must come in there and then my last value is 170 where does it come? It will lie here right at the end, after 166. Now, many times when we do this arrangement, we find that the spaces are uh, filled with numbers when we want to write another space. Like here, I wanted to write 158, but there was actually not a space between 155 and 160. 
then you can write the number at the top and make an arrow to make sure that you know where that value is exactly lying. When you are now finished, you can rewrite the numbers so that they are exactly in the right order. Once we have arranged the numbers from the smallest to the highest number, we are going to determine the median. Now the median simply means that we must find the number that lies exactly in the middle of this data set. So, we can go and see. What we are doing is, is just to eliminate the data on both sides until we get the one which is exactly in the middle. I can scratch the first one and the last one. I can scratch the second one and the second last one. Scratch the third one and the third last one. And so we go on. One after the other. Until I come to two values which are left behind. Now, in this case, the data set consists of an even number, uh, values, uh, number of values in the data set. Here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 numbers in the data set. If the number is an even number, such as 12, you will find two values here in the middle. Now to get the median, you must simply determine what is this value that is in the middle between those two values. So to do so, what are we going to do? We are simply going to add the 158 and the 160 and we're going to divide it by 2. And that is going to give me 159. Some of you will even know that 159 is in the middle between 158 and 160 without doing that calculation. It's fine. Then you can just write the median is 159 and you can omit the calculation. So in the case of the data set where there is an even number of data, uh, uh, number of values in the data set, we will have two values in the middle and then to get the value in the middle of those two middle values, we are going to add them and divide by 2. But say now, for instance, there is an uneven number of values in the data set. What is going to happen? I have extracted for you from that data just um, some of the data. And you will see we are only working with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. So actually, I'm no longer busy with this problem on this side. I say let's start all over again and we are working with a number set where there is five values in the number set. Again, the numbers must be arranged from the smallest to the biggest and they are already arranged like now. So if we are going to make sure now that we find the middle value, I'm simply going to scratch the first and the last one, the second and the second last one and now what you will see is I no longer have two values in the middle of the data set. I only have one value in the middle of the data set. So in this case, the median is simply 150. We do not have to make any calculation. We just use that single value that is appearing in the data set. So just to round up the lesson, when we are going to do calculate the median, it's very important that we must first organize the data from the smallest to the highest value. We are going to make sure that we find the middle value. If it's an even set of data, we will find two values in the middle. So I'm going to add those two values and divide by two. If it's an uneven set uh, amount of numbers in the data set, I am going to find just one value when I determine the value in the middle. And that value in the middle will then be the median of that set of data.